Hello, everyone. Today, as we approach the end of what can only be described as an unusual school year, I want to take a few moments to thank all of you for your extraordinary work and to share a bit about what lies ahead. I want to thank our transportation team and bus drivers who delivered so much more than breakfasts and lunches to our students. For so many families, our bus drivers provided a friendly in-person connection to our schools at a time when digital connections have become the norm. I also want to thank our custodians, grounds crews, and security monitors who still came to work to ensure that our buildings have remained warm, safe, dry, and well-maintained, even though students and teachers have not been in our classrooms. I want to thank our food service partner, AVI, who understood that children can't learn when they're hungry and who are continuing to work tirelessly to ensure our students have access to healthy and tasty meals. I want to thank our administrators, administrative assistants, technology and support staff, whose work behind the scenes ensured that the day-to-day -day work of operating the district has continued. And finally, I want to thank our teachers, paraprofessionals, specialists, and librarians who worked so hard each day to teach our students in an environment that was not familiar or ideal, and despite that, have continued to support and advance student learning. Thank you to each and every staff member for your hard work, flexibility, and the dedication you show each day to our students and families. Moving forward, I know you are wondering what the next school year will look like. We have been collecting as much information as possible and have reviewed the Ohio Department of Education's preliminary guidelines on re-entry. We expect the state to release final guidelines for re-entry in the near future. Already, however, we anticipate that we will be required to maintain social distancing and other health and safety protocols in order to reopen our buildings for students. We also expect that many of the most challenging decisions about how to meet these guidelines will be left to local districts, and we therefore want to plan accordingly. As we think about next year, five guiding principles are shaping district planning. I will be sharing these same guiding principles with our families. Number one, we will keep students and staff safe, operating within the guidelines of the Ohio Department of Health and the Ohio Department of Education. Number two, we will develop a plan with the aim that all students attend school in person at least some of the time, whether that is on a rotating schedule of days or weeks or during a shortened school day. Number three, we will remain IB and equity focused. Number four, we will align our thinking with the reality that we are living in a pandemic and in a time of disruption. This means that school will look different in the future than it has in the past. Like you, we are worried about childcare and access to technology and food. Nevertheless, I know that we will all do our best to meet all of our student and family needs under these circumstances. Number five, we will reflect on our past experience with distance learning and refine it moving forward. Our re-entry plan will also be informed by a variety of stakeholders including parents, students, staff and faculty, and community members. We will turn to all of you as resources for insight and perspective. Once again, thank you for your hard work and support these past few months, and thank you in advance for the work you will be doing to help us through what will likely be uncertain times ahead. I wish all of you a safe and healthy summer, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.